Hello, Complimendi. I'm speaking to you from St Philip's Priory and I thought I'd record a message for you as we approach the day that should have been the day of your confirmation, the 31st of May, Pentecost Sunday. We spent many weeks preparing for the day of Pentecost and your confirmation. Lots of me talking, lots of Bible study, lots of thinking and praying about the history of the church and learning more to, about Jesus Christ to deepen our relationship with him. Never once did we imagine that the day would be cancelled because of a pandemic and lockdown, but that's the situation in which we all find ourselves. At the moment, our churches are closed and our public masses have been cancelled. Schools have been closed for some weeks, shops and everything else. Life isn't as we remember it. We probably never thought that we'd be in this situation. However, in these unprecedented times, and that word unprecedented has been used an awful lot, there are some things that remain the same. Chief amongst these is our faith, and therefore our relationship with Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, these times are unprecedented for us, but the church has been through pandemics before. We have been in this situation. But where do we look to? We look to God, our Father. Our relationship with our Lord is not just something that is part of our lives in good times. Our relationship with our Lord is the bedrock and foundation of our entire existence, in good times and in bad times. In these bad times, therefore, we should not only be asking the Lord for his help in prayer, but we should be seeking to deepen our relationship with Christ, even though we can't get to Mass, even though our lives have been disrupted, even though we might be suffering from anxiety, because we learn to depend not on ourselves, but on the Lord, the God who saves us the rock of our salvation. This is in whom we trust. And there's a phrase from sacred scripture that's been in my mind these last few weeks. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. From the prophet Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. There's been lots of waiting for us all. We've been waiting to see what will come. We've perhaps been waiting for relatives to return to health, waiting to hear news, waiting around with nothing to do, waiting for our schoolwork to arrive, lots of waiting. And we priests here in the Priory have had our lives disrupted as well. And there has been some sadness. Many of you will have known people or known of people who were affected by the pandemic. All of you will have been touched in some way by this awful disease that is going around. Your journey to the Sacrament of Confirmation has been like any other, has been unlike any other that I have ever experienced. But what can we do when we find that life isn't as we experienced it? What can we do when we discover that life isn't going how we thought it would? We turn to the Lord. Has prayer been part of your lives in the last few weeks and months? Have you spoken to the Lord to share with him your anxiety and your concerns and your worries? Have you asked him for his help? Your preparation for the Sacrament of Confirmation involved lots of different elements. But one of the things that I tried to emphasize again and again was the reason that we started 
was so to help you become saints. That's the only reason that we are on this course, to help you become saints. That's the reason, in fact, that I'm a priest, to give glory to God and to help the people become saints. These times, these unprecedented times, these challenging times, are the times that make saints. Think of the example of one of the saints that I spoke about several times, Saint Jose Sanchez del Rio, a young boy of 14 years of age, just around your age, who gave up his life for the love of Christ the King in the midst of his war. He showed so much courage, so much heroism, so much love. And that was not just a product of his upbringing, but a gift from the Lord. He is the rock of our salvation. Whilst the world turns and spins, the cross of Christ, the love of God, is the rock, the firm point that will not be moved. We pray, therefore, and we trust in the Lord. I cannot tell you when you will be able to receive the sacrament of confirmation. To be honest, I don't have much more information than you do. So we wait. But we remember that those that wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. Let us wait, therefore, in hopefulness. Let us trust in the Lord, each one of us. Let us ask the Lord that we might become saints. I wanted to finish by talking about some of the things that I've experienced during this time of lockdown. There have been some sadnesses. We lost one of our priests, Father Caddock Leighton, who you might not have known, but as a member of our community, parish priest in Cornwall, he died rather suddenly about a month ago. And that was a great sadness for all of us in the community. Death is difficult, even for Christians, even for priests. Losing a loved one is always difficult. But that time has reminded us of the importance of our relationship with Christ. And just before Father Caddock passed away, he wrote a letter to his parishioners in which he encouraged them to stay true to Jesus Christ. But in this time, whilst there have been sadnesses, and sadness will probably have touched your lives too, there have also been some surprising consolations. One of these for, for me, and perhaps for others in our community here, is being able to spend more time with each other. Something as simple as having Sunday lunch together. We don't normally have Sunday lunch together because we have so many masses on Sunday and baptisms as well. We're busy working for the Lord. But because we only have one public mass here on Sundays together as a community, not open to the public, we're able to spend time together in a way that we weren't able to before. It's actually me who cooks for Sunday lunch, so I'm quite busy anyway, but I enjoy cooking. So that's been a little pleasure and a little consolation, you might say. A little consolation, therefore, that helps to renew our strength, that helps us to re be reminded that we're doing all of this for the Lord. And we trust in the Lord. That means that we trust and believe that he will help us. He will give to us his grace. Do you remember what grace is? Grace is a sharing in God's divine life. The difficulties and challenges of this world are nothing compared to the joys of the next. And so, Confirmandi, I'd like to set you a task. 
the task is that I'd like you to email the confirmation email address by Sunday the 7th of June and give me answers to these three questions. Now the answers needn't be very long but I'd like you to tell me about something in this lockdown that has made you feel happy, tell me about something in this lockdown that has made you feel sad, and tell me, do you trust that the Lord will renew your strength? As I said, these answers needn't be very long, but I'd like you to think about these things in the light of what we've learnt on the confirmation course. I'll reply to each one of you individually, and if you'd like to speak to me or one of the other confirmation catechists, please don't hesitate to say so, and I can give you a ring. I look forward to seeing your answers to these questions. This time is different and unusual. Some of you might even be thinking about going back to school soon, and that might be causing some anxiety. If it is, speak to those around you, but also don't forget to speak to the Lord, to pray to him, to ask for his strength. Yes, these times are unprecedented, but God still loves us. and That is more important than any, any pandemic, any lockdown, any disease, for there is nothing greater than the love of God. So to finish, I'd like to ask you to pray for the Holy Spirit, to pray that God will send his Spirit down upon you. Perhaps you might even pray together with your families on Pentecost Sunday and ask the Spirit to guide you to console you, to help you, and to be with you. And we might pray together the prayer with which we started each of our confirmation sessions. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.